Hey folks, well I've got a quick but exciting update for you on Big Firebird's flagship figure, Nicey, their version of the Autobot RC, at the Guangxu Mado Animation Convention. Apologies if I said that wrong. They have finally revealed their first color prototypes of RC. I mean Nicey. I'm probably going to be interchanging those a lot in this video. Now, one thing I should mention right off the bat is that these are not the final colors. As you can tell from the photos, it looks like she's a bit more on the red side than the pink that she has been shown with in CG images. She's maybe more of a hot pink here than the soft pink we're more accustomed to. This is a hand colored prototype, and this is Big Firebird's first figure, so color matching can be a bit of a trial and error. I know myself when I've done graphic design work, sometimes the colors on the screen look different than the colors in the printed product. Even when designing with RGB and CMYK in mind, it's still a bit of a guessing game, because it's literally impossible to display true CMYK color on an RGB monitor. The way ink and paint color works is totally different to how colored light works. But I digress, you didn't come here to learn about the science of color. You came to see more of Big Firebird's Nicey. Now, another quick thing to note is how the green parts here, the headlights and the windscreen, or windshield depending on which part of the world you're in, are opaque in this color prototype. That's probably because, again, this is a painted prototype, so they probably just cast everything in the same color plastic, like this unpainted prototype that you see on the right, and then they painted it what color it will be. And Big Firebird have even stated that they will be transparent on the final product, so don't worry about that. Now onto the figure itself. The car mode looks great. She looks about as good or better than any other RC car mode out there. But enough about the car mode. We all know the real draw of this figure is her robot mode. Here we see her displayed in two modes. In the first image, we see her posed kind of dramatically with one of her pistols in front of her, her open hand off to her side, and she has her car kibbled down by her hips, which is the same configuration we've seen previously with her sword. Speaking of her sword, we can see it here too, fully painted as well and with what is maybe an alternate trunk which also forms her shield. And then over in the corner we can see what looks like a selection of alternate hands, her more traditional RC head, and another piece which I'll identify later. But I'd like to see if it takes you as long to figure out what it is as it did me. In the second photo we see her in her more traditional RC configuration with her car kibble on her back, although she is still sporting her hair head rather than her normal helmeted RC head. She's also armed with her sword and shield this time. She looks absolutely fantastic in both these modes. It's going to be hard to decide which one to display her in when we finally get the finished product in hand. Now again, like the other shots, she's displayed here with her normal RC head, a range of hand options, a second sword, one of her guns, and that mystery part. Okay, any last minute guesses on what that is? That's right, it seems that like a certain other third party RC figure, Big Firebird Nicey comes with an alternate chest piece. Now, it's very hard to tell from these two photos how exactly they are different, but at least to me, it looks like one might have slightly less defined cleavage. So maybe if you want your Nicey to have a little bit more of a modest look to her, you can use this alternate chest piece to make her look like she's wearing a sweater or something under her armor, as opposed to nothing at all. Again, this is just my guess. I am trying to decipher this from a very small, zoomed in portion of a photo where this alternate chest piece isn't even the focus. This may actually be slightly smaller or larger boobs. Maybe even a chest piece with raised nipples. Again, I can't tell from these photos and we'll just have to wait for more info from Big Firebird. Now, also on display are two of Nicey's little sisters. Two of Big Firebird's original creations. Red Motor and 4WD. Remember, these are two cute little robot girls who combine with two other robot girls to make a big robot girl. Again, this is the first time we're seeing full color hand painted prototypes of these figures. They look great. I think it's interesting that they actually gave them fully drawn anime eyes and not just big lenses for eyes like you see on other Transformers. It really gives them a unique style, reinforces that anime design, and really makes them stand out from any other Transformers type of figures that exist. Like Nicey, I do wish we had more and better photos of them, but they still look great. And unlike Nicey, it looks like they nailed the colors from the start. Then again, it is hard to mess up straight up yellow and red. Though it's interesting to note that 4WD seems to feature some pink paint 
that's much closer to the pink that Nice Sea should be. Hmm, maybe these were done after and they didn't have time to repaint Nice Sea with this pink paint. Or maybe it's the same pink paint, but for whatever reason it turned out differently on Nice Sea than it did here. Also, I'm surprised I never noticed this until now, but 4WD features pink and blue, the colors of the two other girl robots. Which makes sense since she formed the torso of the combined robot, and having some of the other bot's colors on her would help unify the color scheme. Well, that's it for now on Big Firebird Nicey and her little sisters. As always, I'll keep you posted whenever we receive new info about these figures. But you have to do something for me in return. You have to remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, share, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you here next time for more Big Firebird news.